Good evening, engineer and educator Osama Gandur with you. Today we will speak about a very important uh, error. This error happened uh, when I uploaded the PHP files to the server. I will let you see, check this server. First of all, the error message say error could not connect, no such file or directory. So I take this sentence and search it in Google and YouTube many times. It takes uh, many uh, hours for finding the problem. I found this uh, problem is common between Android, Arduino, uh, different systems, different platforms, Linux, uh, Exam, WAMP, but it's not actually what uh, my problem. My problem was uh, happened when I uploaded the PHP files to the hosting server. So I, after uh, uh, trying to find the solution, I checked the, the host server. The host server here is bytehost.com. By the way, it's free. I recommend you to host your web sites in it. So I searched in it in general PHP info because the problem related to happened when I uploaded the PHP files. And the version is OK. So the problem is not here. So this is a common error. It happened for many platforms and many programs. As I said, for Android, Arduino, uh, uh, my SQL, SQL, uh, Exam, WAMP, uh, beside uh, uh, Linux. So I, I, I pressed here error bigs base error base and then alter error base this first edition i did in the web hosting server which is bytehost.com the second thing i go to alter bhb config and press here alter bhb directives okay and let it on, okay? And I, I put alt, okay? Now it's uh, been the updated, okay? So after doing this, it gave me the second error, which is more specified or more specialized, which is warning my SQLite connect function and this error code HY Table zero slash twenty zero two no such file or directory. And here the problem was be easier. The problem was related to the config or the connection file. As you know, this is very important file uh, uh, when you are doing uh, or designing BHP for dynamic web base. You are setting the connection to the database which you will relate to it and you will post and get data from and to it okay okay uh, so here we are we have uh, four very important variables the first variable which is the db server which is a local host name the second thing is the database username and the third one is the database you password and the third is db name okay okay so after doing this we compare this with our with our we compare this uh, file with our uh, hosting server so in hosting server we search on it and find the account setting in account setting
we go to my sql setting and in my sql setting we will create my sql dbs our databases and here our database this is a current database and this is the database name okay this one is the database name and this is the username and this is the password which is your password to the uh, to the hosting web server and this is the host name okay you will copy and paste these four data and assign each one to a variable so the database name will be assigned to the database variable name variable and the username in my sql uh, username will be assigned to the username variable and the password will be assigned to the password variable and the host name will be uh, assigned to the database host okay name after doing this and i operated my work it worked so here sign out i signed out okay then i can log in it's okay it's working okay hmm. log in it's working okay reset your password it will uh, reset your password you change your password cancel okay okay sign out okay uh, sign up again sign up for new you can uh, sign up for new so now it's working this is happened and it's good to uh, share this solving problem with you and this is the first And here is a can uh, back here a new user would go to this one thanks for listening if there is any question or uh, if you have a problem write in the comment below and i will uh, uh, send you a video or reply in your email okay thanks for listening